Cowboy fans and YouTubers. VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I make these videos for me and you. And they're a little therapeutic. Because I need something after just getting in the vehicle. And it never fails. As soon as I turn on sports radio, they're talking about the Cowboys. No matter what's going on in the world, every time I turn on the radio now, it seems to be something about the Cowboys. Why are y'all so concerned about us? I know we should be because it's our team. But come on, people. Stop trying to turn the narrative here. That that It's done. It's over with. There's quarterbacks with less issues or more issues. You got teams with more issues. Y'all just love to talk about us. Boost your ratings for a couple of segments. But it makes no sense. Now the story is, oh, what's the probability of Dak missing the first game of the season? Really? Really? Now y'all trying to push the narrative that he won't be healthy for the regular season. Come on, people. Stop it. Stop it. Lord, it's a shoulder sprain. If it happens to... My wife had a shoulder sprain. She was in a freaking sling for a while. And she doesn't play football. But it doesn't take no freaking month or nothing to heal up. Especially with rest. So it's like, come on, stop it. Y'all need to stop pushing that narrative. Uh, next, uh, just like his compatriot who was activated last week off the pup. Today, Amari Cooper was activated off the uh, pup list. He has been medically cleared to begin practice. And if all talk is uh, true, more than likely him, D. Lawrence, and Dak probably won't be practicing well until they get back to uh, the star and leading up towards that dress rehearsal game. And after that, they're basically going to get a couple of practice reps, keep it easy, keep it light, and get them ready for uh, the regular season. They're not going to push them. They have no need to push them. Uh, hence the narratives of these uh, Dak needs practice because he's missed so much time and stuff. Really? How come Dak, who's been in Keller Moore system for a while, needs practice time? needs practice but somebody like Aaron Rodgers who hasn't done squat doesn't need practice time uh, Deshaun Watson doesn't need practice time you know why y'all so concerned about my quarterback stop worrying about them these guys got issues too but y'all ain't worried about their practice time so leave it alone uh, Coop I ain't worried about his practice time the man is a route running master he knows what he's got to do and how he's got to do it. And he's been playing through injuries for a while now. Uh, same goes with Tank Lawrence. He's had these back problems for a couple years. He keeps having uh, off-season surgery to correct stuff. And, you know, no concern. He comes back and he plays through the season. He may take a couple uh, uh, rest days during practice is off or, you know, takes some plays off, but he's still the starter. So... That's that. But on to today's subject, the defense of what I've been observing since the Hall of Fame game. I was politely surprised how well that starting and backup defense played. Uh, from the D-line, who didn't have their starters like talk about, but uh, Watkins and Basham, uh, Gallimore, Bahana, uh, Odigizua, those guys stepped up. Armstrong, I mean, the defensive line with their rotations mastered and communications, it's a whole lot better than what we saw last season. It's night and day different. These guys basically leading up to the third quarter and fourth quarter shut down the Pittsburgh beat uh, the offense. And, you know, that's with rotating guys in, playing multiple looks. They were in 3-4-4, three, 3-5-2, four, four, three, nickel, dime. They were trying to get all their players some action uh, in as many situations as they could. Uh, Michael Parsons was all over the field. He played damn near every position. He rushed. He uh, played Mike, Will, Sam. Uh, the guy was everywhere. 
uh, his sideline, the sideline speed was on display. Uh, he had heads up fumble recovery. I mean, he's going to be a beast. Now, if his compatriots can play just as well, we got a formidable linebacker group. Uh, the corners, it's obvious Trayvon's going to get one. But Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis, uh, yeah, y'all need to be going ahead and watching y'all backs because uh, Nation Wright, Morris Kennedy, and Bossman Fat are basically taking your jobs. Uh, right now, uh, like other people have theorized, it's looking like Diggs on one side, Kelvin Joseph on the other, and Kennedy in the slot. And I can run with that. And your top backup would be Najon. And I can run with that. You can have Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis there for uh, extra depth purposes, but there's no need for them to be starting. Not when these young hungry pups are out here ready to tear up the lead. And they're showing it. On practice, uh, against the Rams, in the game, I mean, face it. It is past Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis's time. They don't have it anymore, not to stick around with us. But uh, they look good. The safeties, maybe somebody else got some looks, but I didn't see much from the safeties. Uh, most of the time they were off screen. So I'm assuming they did their jobs. Uh, I saw Darian Thompson a little bit. Uh, I saw Neil. Uh, I do believe he was playing linebacker at the time. You saw, did I see Casey? No, I saw Thompson, uh, Donovan. But yeah, I didn't really see much of the safety play. Uh, I'd have to see some more film on that, but it wasn't too much as far as the safety looks. Um, but as a whole, I am pleasantly surprised. The communication, definitely a 180 from last year. They're on the same pages. You saw that when uh, people were in motion, they communicated whose man was whose. Uh, they uh, got into their positions a whole lot better. There was no kind of miscommunications, nobody picking up into the wrong lanes. They kept their gaps. Uh, the running defense was a lot improved. I mean, this defense, with the cohesion and getting all their guys squared away, is going to be way better. Uh, some uh, boss man has dealt them the no-fly zone as far as the secondary. We'll have to see. Right now, I don't want to call you that, but if you can pull off what y'all been doing in practice and preseason games, and bring that towards the regular season, I'll give you that. I'll give you that name. Uh, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. Everybody stepping their game up. Jalen is still a step off, but he's more improved than what he was. Uh, I'm liking to see all the guys tackling. Uh, I don't care if the guy's already on the ground. I like seeing everybody in the damn tussle, in the... Uh, everybody in it in the scrum i don't care <laughs> you know you're all going towards the ball not just standing around letting one guy do the tackling while y'all standing around look stupid i'm liking that ferocity that attitude i want to see it i like to see it and it's not just dan quinn which is a major get but it's also the players he's brought in and the attitude they're bringing to get these older guys basically a kick in the pants and get them where they need to be. So imagine these guys keeping Pittsburgh, although preseason, to zero points heading into the end of the game, but then you add on the actual starters. Imagine that. Imagine actually having Tank Lawrence and Randy Gregory out there. You have Bossman and Trayvon at Morris out there uh, scouring the secondary with uh, KZ and Hooker if he's healthy enough or uh, Donovan Wilson. This defense is a whole lot matured, a whole lot uh, better than what they were. You got uh, Jabril Cox made some appearances. Neil. Uh, not Bernard, but uh, Luke Gifford. So, linebacking core looks pretty set. 
it, it's definitely going to be a night and day difference from last year's defense to this one. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Uh, I can't wait to see more. And, you know, we have a practice today, a practice tomorrow, and part of a practice before they head off to Arizona for the game, and then that's the end of training camp. But then they're back home to Oxnard. They're prepping for the dress rehearsal, and then it's going to be down to cut days and those guys making an impression while the starters start preparing for Tampa Bay. But uh, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Don't forget, tomorrow we'll talk about the special teams, uh, even though there's not much to talk about. Uh, and if anything else comes up, we'll talk about it. Till then, thank you again for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. Thank you for making it this far into the video. And this is VA Dallas Cowboy fan. Out.